I'm the News and Views editor of Buzzsaw Magazine, which is Ithaca College's premier alternative magazine. It's completely student-run, and we don't have an editor-in-chief because we're a really collaborative editing process. We always have a themed issue, and January was the 50-year anniversary of the coining of the term the military-industrial complex by Dwight Eisenhower in his farewell address in 1961. At the end of last semester, I brought the idea to the rest of the editorial board that we could do a militarization-themed issue, and that then we could have a series of events in collaboration with the release of the issue. We actually approached um, the other groups that we were collaborating with. We said, we want to do a big militarization issue and a series of events. Would you like to collaborate with us? I think that's been the most exciting part about Militarization Week is that I've been able to kind of branch all the organizations I'm involved in to get together on campus and use Buzzsaw as that outlet. Monday night is the screening of Restrepo, which was the Oscar-nominated documentary about a platoon of soldiers in the Korangala Valley in Afghanistan, and that was followed by a brief discussion with the IC Human Rights Club. Tuesday night is the Park Center for Independent Media's speaker series. We told Jeff Cohen we wanted to do something about militarization, and he was so excited that he just immediately called up people he thought would have something interesting to say. And we had John Stauber and Lisa Graves from PR Watch and the Center for Media and Democracy come. We have a panel discussion called War and Peace, um, the Lasting Effects of Militarization, and that is in collaboration with the Progressive Discourse Project, which is a group of students who try to facilitate more debates about political and social issues on campus. The week was so important because it doesn't take much prodding or explanation for people to start recognizing how militarization is, is affecting their daily lives. But if they're not asked to think about it, or invited to think about it, or challenged to think about it, a few of us do. The difficult part about talking about a topic like militarization is, is that it is so political. When it comes to war, people are either for it or against it, and that's really hard to talk about. The importance of bringing in art and music and poetry and prose is that for students on campus who want to be a part of the discussion, but aren't able or aren't willing to do it in the form of a panel or just watching a movie. They want to go about it another way and I think that it's uh, really amazing to see students willing to share their stories and their experiences in whatever way that they can and join together with people of the community to do so. The goal of higher education is to encourage people to challenge the assumptions that they already had, to learn something in the process, and to go forth in life critically analyzing what they see around them. So I think that it's really just a matter of getting people to think about something that they maybe haven't seen in society before.